Okay. Welcome again. Okay, Ivan, you can start your speech. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Raquel. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to, to introduce uh, to introduce myself. Um, my name is uh, Ivan Martinez. Uh, I am a senior researcher, uh, and I have been in, in Atos, specifically in, in the uh, Atos Research and Innovation Department for about nine years. Uh, during uh, last year, uh, I have uh, been participating in, in several uh, big data and blockchain uh, related projects, uh, mainly leading the, the latest uh, definition and integration of the system architecture. Uh, in concrete in body paths, I'm leading the, the main technical tax related with the architecture definition and, and implementation. Okay. Uh, well, this presentation is, is mainly focused uh, on introducing the body pass approach uh, in terms of uh, architecture or, or uh, for, for 3D data sharing uh, solution. I'd like to speak in detail about the concrete solution that we, we, uh, we have already defined and, and applied for uh, solving the, the, the challenges uh, uh, in, in, the body pass, uh, in the body pass project. Um, well, uh, I would like to uh, start to put all of you in context and trying to answer some, some challenges uh, behind, behind body paths. So um, uh, we could start saying that, um, uh, sorry. We could start saying uh, that uh, on, the, on the one hand, uh, body paths aims uh, to break um, barriers uh, between uh, health sector and, and consumer goods sector and eliminate in this way the, the current data silos. Uh, on the other hand, uh, one of the, of, of the main uh, stumbling blocks for 3D data sharing always is um, uh, the difficulty to access uh, external data sets in a secure and, and trustable manner. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a clear need for platform uh, that uh, offer uh, not only control to data sets, but also means to query uh, different, uh, different data based, based on, on a variety of criteria in a distributed, uh, in a distributed fashion. Um, in addition, Platform should, uh, let me say, allow combination of, of query results while preserving security and traceability of interaction, thereby creating a trustworthy environment for interaction of different uh, stakeholders in the data ecosystem. Uh, well, uh, BodyPass uh, answer all these all these challenges following. Uh, let me say an, an innovative approach based on uh, blockchain technology has uh, has uh, our main pillar. Um, now um, I would like to um, look in at the benefits of uh, blockchain to uh, justify the usage of uh, blockchain technology in in the body pass in the body pass uh, solution or project uh, let's uh, look at the same of uh, of the biggest advantages of uh, using blockchain technology uh, firstly uh, you get uh, a history of activity not just uh, an snapshot in in time when you look uh, at a, a regular database you are getting uh, a snapshot of data that uh, up to date in the moment, uh, in, in that moment in, in time. Uh, blockchain do this too, but they also maintain a record of uh, all the information that exists before. It is a database with history, if, if you like. Uh, secondly, there is no one central point of, of, of attack. The fact that uh, blockchain is uh, a decentralized way of um, uh, storing and accessing data makes the whole system incredibly secure uh, because uh, unlike uh, a, a centralized database, there is no uh, single point of, uh, for, for, for entry, uh, of, uh, for, uh, there is no, no 
single point of entry for, for hackers. This makes it uh, particularly useful for uh, recording transactions in, in a secure manner. And uh, finally, there is no centralized control uh, because the system of, of record is, is, this, is decentralized and, and replicated uh, in uh, its entirety in, in multiple places. There is no need for a central administrator and all the costs and infrastructure that comes with it. Um, well, uh, once presented uh, the benefits of blockchain, we, we, we will try to uh, answer now to the following question. When we might we use uh, blockchain? So um, blockchain is uh, certainly uh, exciting in, and uh, has the potential to transform uh, how, uh, how many businesses operate, but uh, that doesn't mean it is the right solution for every scenario. Uh, here is uh, why you uh, might choose uh, blockchain over, let's uh, say, uh, on a standard database. Uh, we might use um, blockchain when uh, we want to manage to uh, when we want to manage a secure uh, digital relationship or keep a decentralized shared, shared uh, system of record. Anytime you want to keep uh, a long-term uh, transparent record of access, uh, blockchain could be uh, the ideal solution. Um, smart contracts in particular are great for facilitating uh, digital relationship and, and transactions. With uh, um, a smart contract, uh, automatic payments can be released with, uh, when parties in, in, a, in a transaction agree that their condition uh, have been met. We might use a blockchain when we want to record a secure transaction specifically between uh, multiple partners. A traditional database may be good for recording simple transaction between two parties, but, but uh, when uh, things get more complicated, blockchain can reduce, uh, bottleneck and simplify relationship. What's more, the, the added security of, um, of our decentralized system makes um, uh, blockchain uh, ideal for transactions in general. Um, well, uh, we might use blockchain where the data is here in uh, constant loops, but uh, you want to keep uh, a record of uh, packs uh, actions. Blockchain is, is a better, safer way to um, record activity and keep data fresh while maintain uh, a record of uh, his history. Um, they can, can be corrupted by, by anyone or accidentally delete and you benefit from uh, both uh, historical trail of data plus uh, an instantly uh, up-to-date record. And finally, we may use blockchain um, anywhere a middleman or gatekeeper function is expensive or time consuming. Um, uh, for example, uh, most accommodation provider uh, can really have to interact with the guests via a centralized aggregator platform like a Airbnb or, or Expedia. And here blockchain could, uh, could change uh, all, all, all of that. Okay, let me, uh, let me uh, once justify the usage of blockchain technologies in, in the body pass in the body pass solution, let me uh, Try, let me now try to explain what is uh, in concrete uh, body paths. Uh, yeah, well, body paths is, is mainly uh, a blockchain based network for, for, uh, for uh, data sharing. And uh, the body path solution provides the, the following. Uh, firstly, the body path solution um, provides uh, a blockchain uh, based uh, a data sharing private network. Uh, this is our, our uh, let me say, main pillar. Secondly, secondly 
um, uh, the body path solution uh, means for uh, for data data providers to um, expose uh, their data uh, have external uh, data uh, relational databases or uh, external APIs APIs in a secure and privacy preserving way and it is enabling distributing uh, distributed querying uh, for those data that um, um, to members of uh, a private blockchain network. Uh, thirdly, uh, blockchain provides uh, a smart contract to uh, enable trust uh, transactions among uh, stakeholders in, in, in the network. Uh, fourthly, BodyPass provides uh, off-chain uh, management of uh, big uh, data sets to avoid issues of of managing large uh, files in, 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 in a blockchain that uh, is slow uh, down uh, overall performance. The main innovation is that the platform uh, allow of chain uh, managing of, of big files, uh, for instance, 3D, image, 3D images such as uh, medical body scans, uh, meaning that the metadata resides on uh, the blockchain while uh, the actual data is contained in, in, in uh, files managed outside uh, the, the blockchain the blockchain network. Um, finally, <clears throat> block, uh, body pass provides or, or is enabling distributed uh, queries to uh, external databases for searching data uh, in addition to um, uh supporting distributed queries to uh, external apis uh, user the user of, of the network will be able to uh, run uh, queries while um, uh, data providers will retain the uh, ability to approve or, or deny uh, access uh, managed by a specific smart contract and crushable via uh, auditable logs and immutable um, distributed uh, uh, ledger. Mm. Well, uh, once uh, introduced what is uh, body pass and the main challenges uh, behind body pass, I would like to uh, describe uh, the, 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 the concrete solution uh, implemented for, for body pass, so let me say for, for um, a, a more technical point of view. Uh, talking about uh, the two main layer of planes uh, that body pass is uh, is made of um, the body pass uh, ecosystem is built considering two uh, data planes the data sharing plane which um, control and track the access to to the data and the uh, data management plane, which manage the access to a variety of uh, physical sources of data. Uh, from, from an external uh, actor's point of view, there are three different profiles that interact in body path ecosystem, considering the relationship with the data, uh, which are the uh, data providers, data processors, and finally, the data consumers. And finally, in the in the picture in the slide, you could see the role that each one of the body pass partner are playing in this body pass um, ecosystem. Okay. Mm. Um, let me now um, try to uh, go in detail to the to the data sharing plan. We could say that the data data sharing plane represents the the the, um, the implementation of a blockchain and provides the the, the 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 features to be a flexible trust model. Um, it is built uh, upon a, a modular architecture configurable to choose the most suitable consens consensus mechanisms or certification authority. There is. Um, a membership provide a members a membership service provider to deal with um, uh, identity management and authentication inside the data data sharing plan uh, members can participate as if, uh, as if uh, they were um, private groups 
by means of uh, channels. Each member can be included in, in more than one in more than one channel, each of them with their own policies. And all the transactions are stored in uh, in the distributed layer, and therefore uh, audit efficiency and quality are, are improved. Um, due to the limitation regarding the handling of big data volumes uh, of, of blockchain networks, uh, this um, data data sharing plane is where the metadata and the permissions of the network components are, are managed. Uh, this has uh, been implemented in, in BodyPass uh, using uh, Hyperlayer Fabric, uh, which is a permission blockchain network, following the logic specified in the chain code. Uh, developed um, uh, through um, an utility tools that uh, is named it uh, Hyperlayer Composer uh, Composer Tool. And now I would like to zoom in into this data sharing plane. Um, if you uh, if you uh, keep an eye on the right side in in the slide, you could see uh, you could see the business network. Uh, definition of of the body uh, for for um, uh, for body pass, which uh, which uh, key concepts um, are um, um, uh, assets, uh, participants, and, and transactions. Uh, well, uh, assets are um, let me say tangible or intangible goods, services, or or property or property and uh, are stored in, in, in registries. Uh, these assets may be related to other uh, assets or, or participants. Uh, participants are members of, of, uh, of a business uh, network. Um, and finally, the transactions are the, the mechanisms we, uh, by which the participants interact uh, with, uh, with these uh, assets. Um, um, Finally, um, uh, bottom right, you could find the, the, the body pass uh, asset model, which uh, main main assets are the data collection, the data resource catalog, and the data data service catalog. Uh, data data collection is a kind of uh, let me say a 3D 3D data hub in which uh, the user will find all the data, uh, data links for accessing to the different 3D models and, and metrics. The data resource uh, let, uh, let us to manage the type of the data resources shared in, in the body pass uh, context. And the data service catalog is the way in which a data provider could publish their uh, own uh, portfolio in, the, uh, in terms of data services in the in the body pass domain, uh, one publish the data. The one publish the um, participants um, join it to the uh, body pass network. Could uh, consume such services once the data provider uh, has established the um, appropriate grants for uh, for uh, the participant uh, organization. Okay. Let me move now to the um, data management plane. Um, and here um, uh, we could say that the data management plane uh, it is, it is the, the component that manages the access to uh, all obtained data, uh, data sources, and orchestrates queries to be executed over the distributed storage. The data management plane provides the security and requires uh, constraints for the blockchain consortium uh, members. Um, and has values uh, has um, has values are stored in order to verify the data when objects are, are accessed subsequently. Uh, the data management plane contains uh, all the information supplied by the different data providers, which may be accessed for certain users of a blockchain system who have uh, previously reached an agreement with uh, with the data data owners. Uh, the data 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 management plane exposes uh, REST API 
that uh, will only con uh, be consumed by the data sharing plane and therefore the body path actors do don't uh, do don't have um, uh, direct access to the data management plane that's um, reinforcing uh, the sense of security any data related query will be executed via uh, this uh, this uh, api um, the functionality of the of the whole ecosystem is exposed also uh, has a REST api uh, in sense in such a way the interaction with uh, with network uh, asset participant and, trans and transaction are available through a standard http operation following the rest uh, architecture and this way each http uh, request contain all information uh, necessary to execute it uh, which um, allows neither client nor server to remember uh, any previous uh, status the interface is uniform only uh, a specific action post get uh, put and delete are applied or on, on, on the resources uh, has benefits the protocol increase the scalability of the project and allow the the internal uh, components to evolve uh, independently. Uh, if we um, if we uh, zoom in uh, into the data data management plane, we could see a detailed view in the right side of, of the picture of the slide. We could distinguish several software pieces that uh, are mainly orchestrating and, and supporting two type of queries: uh, metadata related queries and processing queries. And the main technology behind behind this it is uh, a Presto Presto DB. Uh, in the case of metadata related um, uh, queries, uh, the query planner will be the the component of the body part system that uh, will be responsible for translating the requirements of the end user in into uh, queries to the to catalog the databases that contains the desired information considering possible combination between between different data sources. Um, in the case of uh, processing queries, this uh, could be directly uh, carried out by PrestoDB for uh, simple metrics, but uh, it, it uh, would be also uh, necessary to uh, coordinate between uh, 3D image uh, processing services. Um, in this way, both uh, the blockchain network and the data providers can have a, uh, an exhaustive control over what information uh, has been accessed by uh, which user, thus uh, facilitating mm, monetization of, of the data if, uh, if uh, is uh, necessary. Okay. Mm. Um, speaking uh, speaking now uh, about the technical solution behind body paths, the picture is representing the mapping between the main building blocks in, in body paths um, with the concrete tools and framework used to support them. Well, uh, we have two uh, APIs in body paths, one public, uh, uh, the body paths API that exposes uh, the blockchain network assets, participant, and transaction. And we have another private um, API just accessible from data sharing plane, which is the data data planners API, to uh, manage and orchestrate all kind of related of uh, data related queries. Um, uh, um, uh, well, uh, we have in, in the in the data management plane we have uh, we have Presto DB. I have a SQL distributed engine, and we have uh, we, we are using KCloud uh, as our our server. Um, at the at the data sharing level, we have uh, we have a hyperlayer fabric to support a blockchain network. Uh, in addition uh, to a hyperlayer composer, I have tool to um, develop and deploy the chain the chain code over a physical network. And um, finally, uh, we we are using Hyperlayer Explorer to monitor um, uh, all uh, blockchain elements in body parts, including query query blocks, transaction network information, and chain code. Um, okay, let me 
I move now to um, to the main main workflow in 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 body paths. And one describes the the the, the body path planes and the technology mapping supporting these software pieces. Uh, place it into into them. I would like to describe how the data sharing workflow takes place in in body paths. Uh, the workflow starts with a concrete uh, body actors. When when a concrete body actors uh, wants to uh, query for for data in, in body path network. And step one, uh, or has initial step, the, the actor provides uh, a JSON format, uh, in a JSON format, uh, uh, the, the user intentions. Uh, during the step two, the request is um, is redirected to a concrete transaction in Hyperledger Fabric. In the step three, um, uh, from the Hyperledger transaction, is made a call to the data data management preliminary API to run uh, a federated query. Uh, step four uh, is in charge of translating the user in, 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 in intention into a SQL query, and, and, and during the uh, step five, the, this query is executed uh, in parallel to all the data processors available. During uh, step six, uh, the calculated data links are sent to the data management plane. And uh, in a step seven, these uh, data links are stored in, in the data collection assets associated to body pass actor. Um, a step uh, eight it is in charge of generating an event that uh, the body pass actor will receive with um, uh, all the information about the query execution. And finally, a step nine and 10 implies the physical uh, access into the 3D data using the data links provided in the previous steps. The data uh, accessing here is point is implies a communication point to point between the body path actor and the data providers. Um, and finally, just to uh, conclude my presentation, I would like to uh, highlight that um, firstly, the body path provides a trust data sharing platform based on on a blockchain approach uh, as a key technology. Uh, secondly, blockchain solution include includes um, off-chain data management layer supporting orchestration of federated query uh, in addition to um, uh, data um, data querying uh, and processing services. And um, finally, um, BodyPass is an extensible solution for uh, new data providers. And here, new data providers could join to uh, um, the BodyPass network uh, simply by publishing uh, their data services in the public data service catalog managed by the data sharing plan and that's uh, all regarding to the um, uh, body pass um, uh, 3d data architecture okay thank you very much ivan uh, we don't have time for for any questions uh -huh. but don't worry if any of you have any questions you uh, could put them uh, by, by the Huba application, okay? And will be answered by Ivan after after the, the Congress. Okay, so thank you very much, mm -hmm. all attendees, and see you in, a, in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Alexander.